Now, if you just tap this video, it's for one of two reasons. Either you actually want to learn the tutorial or you're wondering why anybody will want to do this in the first place. Now, if you're already up on game, skip to this time in the video to go right to the step-by-step. -step. For everyone else, here's some backstory for you. Now, the reason this how-to video exists in the first place, simply put, they don't make them how they used to. When it comes to Jordan 1s, anything after the 90s is a reissue and therefore called a retro. And most sneaker enthusiasts know about this. But in the more recent years, Nike has decided to release 1985 replicas to match the leather quality and the exact shape of the original shoe from 1985. But as you'll see by these photos, comparing them to the original 1985s, most of the details are spot on, except for one major issue, and that is the toe box shape. And for Jordan 1 enthusiasts like myself, especially if you're into the vintage pairs, this is the glaringly obvious manufacturing error if you're going to say it's a replica of the original. So with this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to get your toe box from looking like this to like this. The shoes that we are reshaping today are the Jordan 1 Highs from the New Beginnings Pack. They are beautifully made, high quality leather, one of the more highly sought after 85 retros. And if it's not obvious to you what's wrong with the toe box, look how they compare to my Court Royals. There's a very obvious difference in the slimness and that's what we're gonna fix now. And all you need is three things. A shoe tree, I prefer wood, but you can go with plastic, a thin washcloth or a t-shirt, and an iron on medium to high heat. First things first, put the shoe tree into the shoe. This will guide your reshape. Then you wanna wet your thin towel or t-shirt, and the emphasis is thin here. You don't want this fabric to be too thick. And you see I'm giving it a good ring because you want it to be damp, but not soaking wet. Then you place your damp fabric over the toe of the shoe. Make sure your iron's on medium to high heat, and you wanna press around the toe box in an upward motion. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm pressing down pretty hard because what we're doing here is changing the shape of the shoe permanently and less than five minutes later here's the result and like I said these changes are permanent I have worn my shoes after doing this numerous times and the shape stays the same and if you don't get these same results in about five minutes you want to turn the heat up on your iron and then give it a few more passes and that should do the trick so yeah that's all I got for y'all in this video if you thought this was interesting or useful make sure to kameha meha that thumbs up button I would greatly appreciate it and as usual thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.